Hello, this is Dave at Knack Builders. Uh, today, my topic is how to create a single login page when you have multiple user roles. Um, I'm going to take a look at an app real quick here. Here's an app, and we have one, two, three, four, seven or so user roles. This actually started out just having one, and we kept adding to the app. And <clears throat> We were handing out the URLs for these specific user roles from the pages side, and that's sort of a pain. Everyone has a different user role or different logins, keeping track of them. Um, some people have multiple user roles. I'm going to show you a quick, uh, quick method to just have one page. Anyone who logs in, it takes them to the right one. And uh, I will be right back. Thank you. Okay, Dave Parrish here, um, doing a video on how to create one page when you have for a login when you have multiple user roles. This has actually been on my list for a video to do for a while, but I also noticed that NAC, uh, C. Palmer at NAC, uh, recently did uh, the same topic in a NAC article. So I'll reference this in the YouTube video if you want to read through something too. Um, so here's the deal. I am going to pull up an app. We have a bunch of different user roles, and we don't want to have to be handing out to all these different people different URLs and keeping track of them. There's an easier way to do that, and it's pretty simple to do. Um, here's the pages side of the back end of NAC. And this is how I do all my apps, and it's important for this too. I'm typically each page, the highest level page, is a different uh, user role. So I build my apps, and I think it's a best practice, uh, where they surround or they revolve around the different user roles. Um, so here's how you do this. I've already done it in this, but what you're going to do, I'm going to put this up top and talk about how this is done. Uh, I made a welcome page. And this is important when you create that page. Um, you want to, in this case, people can sign up, but you want to click user roles, allow access to all users. If you have this other one for that particular page, um, it, it won't allow it unless maybe you put in all the different user roles as, as options. But this is the easiest way. Make sure that's clicked. And, you know, I've created some content here. There's a translation thing. There's uh, a welcome message. And, uh, but the guts of this are right here. We're going to go. So here's what they see. They go to a page. And there's the regular login. The gist of this is when you get to there, we're going to create page rules. And these will redirect. Uh, if the user count user role, you got to go down to account, is, and I, I'll mention why I use contains, is admin. I want to redirect the ex to an existing page, which I'm choosing as the admin right here. And I do this for each of the different user roles. Now, the reason I use contain instead of is, is some folks have multiple user roles. And if they have two in there and you say is, I don't think it's going to recognize it because it's not is. There's two of them there. So if it contains one or the other, uh, that will redirect to where they need to go. Now, I'm going to test this out. Here's this. I have some different user roles I have. I'm going to put in uh, this one. Dave at This took me, in this case it's for the parents, to the parent page. It took me to the right one. 
Now, I'm going to log out, and I'm going to try a different one. This one actually has two usables, so I'm going to do this. Same login page, now it's taking me to a different area of the app. And this one has two different um, two different usables. Now watch what I log out there. This is why it's important if you make this universal login page, put it at the top. The next default is when you log out, it's going to go to the first page that's listed. So if I had it here, it won't go there. So this allows everyone when they log out not to be someplace they don't want to be when you and if you're familiar with it if the, they can actually log into the app but if it's the wrong page you can say you don't have access I and mean, it's sort of confusing so that is pretty much it it's simple but it's very useful and um if you like this video please uh please note it down below or click like or sign up for my channel that would be appreciated. Thank you.